Crow Country is a game that asks the important question, what if Resident Evil 1 and Silent Hill 1, what if they had a little retro baby that came out in the modern age? Now I would heard nothing about Crow Country until the last couple of days where it's been absolutely popping off all over social media with people making those bold claims and I'm excited to see if the hype is real. It's some big shoes to fill but hopefully they manage it. Also, this game was made by two people, a set of brothers, which is mad impressive, fair play to them. And it's set in an amusement park, so it's kind of like the start of Silent Hill 3, where we play as Heather Mason. So we're playing as Mara, she's in a little car pulling up, Mara Forest. Oh, special agent Forest. So we're playing as a trained individual. Calling it now, she's not a special agent, she's psycho. And we are in. Oh, that is a Resident Evil menu, to the T. You've got the health bar ticking away, you've got the gun equipped, missing persons report. Atlanta Police Department. So we're looking for this villain ass. Look at him. He's evil. Eclipse going behind his head or a really big man bun. I don't know. So shoot it off. Look at it. And we're in. Oh, physics. We love physics. A pocket light. Yeah, take it for sure. So we're in the lobby area. I imagine we've got to find a way through. Oh, the music is picking up. Are we going to encounter our first enemy in here? Anything up here? Should I just run? Oh, a flock of crows. It truly is Crowland. Whoa, that's gonna be the final boss, isn't it? It's a big crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. I'm looking for your boss. Do you know where he is? Ooh, can I get my light on in here? So you've got a restroom. Ooh, there's gonna be something bad in here. Oh, something's making noise. Someone's a groaning. Not the good kind. Aspiring paranormal photographer Arthur Mole sent in a Polaroid he took while exploring the abandoned amusement park Crow Country. Bigfoot moment. Oh, it actually kind of looks like Bigfoot, you know. There is a bronze keyhole. We got no keys just yet, so the only way is forward, really. Fairy tale town, which means the pond is in here. We go in the little house. Is this a real door? Open. I think it's locked, but there is no keyhole. And a bronze key. Okay, that bronze key is going to be opening up a lot of area. Ooh, there's another trap. Can I like? Really carefully. No, I don't want to risk it. Ooh, I almost twisted into it. Okay, so there's foes all over of animatronic looking enemies. That will no doubt be a problem. Oh, oh, it's a guy. It's our first friendly, or maybe not. This is kind of like the dude that we find in Resident Evil that's been attacked by the snake and he has that terrible audio. There are terrible demons. Ouch. Can I um, put him out of his misery? No. Give healing item. Yeah, fine. Move him. Where are we moving him? Oh, her car, is it? I moved him to my car. He'll be safe there for now. Okay, should I go talk to him maybe? No, we'll leave him. Uh, tree lady, 3184. 84, she'll look around. I think I remember you have to talk to her. There's some kind of phrase you have to say. When did we establish there was a phrase to say? We are walking. Oh, groaning. Oh, is it our first enemies? If uh, it is. Meat puppet looking fellas. Oh, I wonder how close is like the optimal distance for damage. Ooh, okay, they're taking a bit of damage. Ooh, okay, okay, running out of space, running out of space. Okay, one down, one down, two down, look at them. So they're humanoid, I don't know if they are animatronics, but they're vibrating, shaking around, covered in blood. The smell is so bad, it's like an infected wound. I feel bad killing it, but I'd feel bad leaving it alive too. So, I mean, they've got like diapers on, so it's kind of like a baby looking thing, like an overgrown meat-based baby. Ooh, save space music, a letter. 15 year old girl by the name of Elaine Marshall was injured. So it's a fireplace. Do we save by looking into the fire? Crack saving. You know what? The girl that was injured that was mentioned there, I bet that's some relation to who we're playing as now. Elaine Marshall. And what's our name? Mara Forest. Elaine Marshall, Mara Forest. Oh, so this is what we have to say to the fairy. Hear me, oh great fairy, a fairest forest. Oh, are they going to be back up? Oh, the, the, the spiders. They are out, but we're low on ammo, so I'm hoping if, if there's a couple... Oh no. Okay, pull them all in, draw them all in. Ooh, Donnie in the crop top and knickers. I don't know how big the explosive radius on that is. Oh no, it's okay. Get rid of these little puddles of shite as well. We're golden. There is another one. Oh, can I get him in the trap? Can I get him in the trap? Friendly fire, suck a bag of dicks. Ooh, oh, you can step on him. Oh, great fairy, a fairest forest. Welcome child. Will you protect our precious natural world? I will. A pool of water and it's filthy. So we have to get the right pressure gauge by turning this and then pressing the button too high or too low. We won't make it. 
Titan, 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 Titan. And run. And run. Don't get stuck. Wait for it. Wait for it. Examine. And just right. Pull lever. Yeah. The water has been cleaned and now we can look into it. A reflecting pool. Ah, oh, we've got to shoot that little thing. Aim it down, aim it down. Clart it. Oh, our first key. The bronze key. We finally got it. It's a tall boy. Look at it. Pinocchio ass. Look at him. Doing the trot and ready too. Ooh, okay. Lure him in with the promise of some nice pink hair. Shoot him. It did not kill him. It, he's unfazed. That does not bode well if he's totally unfazed by an explosive barrel. Look at that. Burst into little pieces like a daddy long leg. So that was like a big mannequin. And that noise it makes, yeah, that is a creepy noise. That is a very unsettling noise. Let's go check back on our boy in the police car. See how he's getting on. Has he been murdered yet? How you doing? I'm okay. Can you be honest? Your leg hurts pretty bad, right? Oh, you can be. Yeah, it's throbbing. It feels weird. And you have headache. It feels kind of queasy. Oh, they're turning, aren't they? They're turning into those monsters. They're infected. The intruder is contained in the lab. Boss is calling him the guest and I told him he was in poor taste. You know, I reckon behind that crow there is where the secret lab is hiding in plain sight. They thought I wouldn't see it, but I did. So what was down here? Did we establish what down here was? Haunted hilltop. Oh, is this where it becomes like Silent Hill? Ooh, this hill is silent right now. Oh, an enemy. Then let's find out who this girl is dressed in the height of fashion. What are you doing? Trying to get through this door. Yeah, well, banging on it's not gonna do it, you fucking dipshit. Just keep punching the metal door. You'll get there one day. Oh, enemy, enemy. Let me check for multiple enemies. Ah, oh, wait, I can zap him. Consider himself zapped. Okay, they can attack from a bit of a distance. Get him on the trap. That is how you save ammo, ladies and gentlemen. I've entered the crypt. Oh shit, it's a gun. It's a shotgun. Is he gonna open fire? I feel like he's gonna shoot me once that timer runs out, you know. Am I am I in trouble right now? Is it going to shoot? I'd better not touch it. Good idea. When reading the gravestones, focus on the names. The birth dates and death dates aren't of any use for now. Okay, so the names are what's Ah! So this guy has to be pointing southwest. And this guy is called Eastly, so he just has to be facing East. Okay, so we got it. Just need to make them face the compass directions. Makes sense. And that should be it. Oh, the gate opened. Oh, you can take it. It is stuck. No, no, I'll keep pulling. I'll keep pulling. Oh, it broke. How are they going to cock tease me like that? They should at least let me take the sword. I'm, oh, I'm blue balled. And I've been attacked by this salad fingers looking monster. Absolute plague. Will he have a shotgun I can use? Now would have been a good time to have the shotgun. Bad day to be a big-headed monster. Oh, is this the girl that was trying to get through? This is where she's trying to get to, isn't it? That's her banging. Like an absolute ape. Finally. Hey, how'd you get inside? Oh, you know, went in the crypt. Killed a big monster. Oh, Julia is a sassy moron. I'm just kidding. You did good, right? Ha 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 ha. Shut the fuck up. There's work to be done. So it's an accident at the park. A photo of a young lady that got hurt. Medical report about how she was infected with a bacterial infection. So she's a lawsuit attorney trying to charge him for that woman's accident. Ooh, where's the ringing coming from? Hello, you came back. Who is this? I'll admit, I'm glad to see you're up and about. Oh, the tenacity of youth. A large gemstone. I feel like these paintings are important as well. The song in a cage. Ah, oh, wait, there's a gemstone going here. It's a piano. My mum used to make me practice every day. So it needs a what? Four keys to be played. F-A-D-E maybe? F-A-D-E. Right, so the pictures are important. You've just got to link it up with the piano. And what's in this one? Cage. Anything cool in here? Oh, it's a little mushroom. I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. Uh, what's that? You want to improve the range of your flamethrower to each their own, I guess. No wish for you. So we get a flamethrower at some point? Shame I don't have it. No, he got shot himself next to his Lego bricks. Oh shit, he's dead. I guess he shot himself. Should I call the police? Yeah, yeah, you should call the police. Edward Crow, your crimes have not gone unnoticed, nor will your sins go unpunished. Oh, there's a woman in the corner here. Mara, are you all right, ma'am? It only grazed me. I thought I'd be fine. I don't even know what it was. My head is pounding. My stomach is boop. Give her an antidote. Go on, 
Take that. Are we going to carry her back to the vehicle as well? I'm Natalie. Natalie Crow, the woman who reported missing. Looks like a theater stage, maybe. Do we have a crowd today? What a turnout. Oh, there is one, one onlooker with his little bulgy red eyes and his meaty face. Listen, I had no idea what the roots were for. There are seven in total and I cut them down, cut them open. I bet that's the crow guy calling us to give us advice on how to stop whatever infection is taking hold of the theme park. Ooh, there's a little guy on the floor. Ooh, that guy, oh my God, being attacked by little dwarves. Little infected dwarves. Oh shit, oh, we are in trouble. Ooh, we are in serious big boy trouble. Where you at? Where you at, you little, you little shit? Oh, he's hiding behind the freaking door. Yeah, oh, off with his head. This is what Pinocchio would look like on crack. Oh, do you reckon it's one of the kids that were watching the show and they've got infected? I'd never have found that bronze key without you. Eh? Eh? I feel like I've uh, missed something there. Why is she getting the credit for my work? A new type of enemy. Ooh, this one's got a spiky little forehead. Do you know what? And the ducks, we might be able to use the gemstone we found in the haunted room. Oh, we can. It counts as an egg. Oh, we can control the little ducky. So we've got to bring it around. Ah, look at that. Little mini games. Two people made this. All right. Swing him around. And what do we got on him? Let's get that groggy chain off your neck. Take the chain. Yeah. Oh, and it snapped. Well, we do have the bronze key to get inside this little hut, which will take us down to the underground mining area, I believe it was. Yeah, there's the hole. Oh, and a moan coming from within. I can hear something down there. Yeah, me. Oh, it's tearing up the chain. Yes. So it is filling with water. And now we can uh, lift this up. So maybe whatever thing was down there will have been waterboarded and not want to attack us anymore. A uh, chain came up. It's a large block of solid resin. Yeah, I can blowtorch it. I can melt it. Resin melted. Take the mask. Oh. Where's this dude come from? A little fed. It's not safe. Would you like me to escort you out? No, how about I pull my lock out? Harrison James, that is the guy that was supposed to be here. That's who the woman told us she had contacted. Some kid broke into my car this morning. Slash my tires too. I told you, I told you, we're not a cop. So I can choose to tell him or not to tell him, but I don't see why I wouldn't tell him. So I'm gonna tell him where the girl that he's looking for is. So he's gonna go to the office and speak to her. I feel like maybe we should make our way back round there. Oop, the phone is ringing again. The first guest emerged from the pool two years ago. I've been thinking it must have been on purpose. The timing, I mean. Two years ago? 1988. A critical pivoting point, if you will. Maybe we we travel back in time somehow? I don't know if that's too far-fetched. And we are in the Ocean Kingdom where we can get the batteries from the mermaids to power the middle crow. All right, let's enter. There was something in the submarine I wanted, like a shotgun, I think they said, but I cannot remember what it was. Oh, there is a shotgun in here. And we have to score 21 on this little uh, uh, arcade game. And I think it's all ours. We're gonna have to do a little bit of math here. Oh, someone said it actually, didn't they? It was shark, 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 dolphin, I think. There was a memo earlier that I said it. It was like, yeah, four sharks and a dolphin. One, two, three, four. Yep, oh my god, memory of a king. Let's go, the shotgun is all ours. I'm taking a baby, we got the shotgun. First real weapon of the game. How do we change weapons, how do we change? Look at it single-handed as well. That is a powerful statement. Good job, team, good job. Holy shit. Said, yeah, you wanna celebrate? Well, they have a big fucking barnacle boy to attack. How many shots is it gonna take? Ooh, hit me with a pipe. Three shots with a shotgun, is he dead? Or is he just... Yeah, now he's dead, okay. Now it really is Five Nights at Freddy. Ooh, is that a... Oh, it's a dude. It's a drunken little worker dude. Oh, should I turn that off? Oh, that's kind of cool. Two people made this game. With the scale of it for two people, they're adding little touches like that. It is just crazy. Weird guy. Oh no. It's a pedophile. Never seen you before, little girl. So maybe he's gonna get the elevators working from the sounds of things. The worst part is I never really wanted the gold. I didn't care. It was my father who wanted it. He made the decision to buy the land. Ah, oh, it is Crow. I've predicted it all. Oh, oh, did you see it? Did you see it poke his little head out? There will, oh, it's fucking, oh my God. Is it, is it foe? And I'm just, I'm just killing myself. I'm just killing myself. Get the old shotty, let that drop on him. Nope, only works for me, it would seem. Yeah, how'd you like that, eh? How'd you like that? 
Yeah, big creepy fucking crocodile looking humanoid. And shoot him. And that's it. He's dead. He's dead. You dead? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Now that we've got the mask, let's get this witch's wood open and see what we've got going in there because I'm running out of ideas as to where we're supposed to be going and what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, this is a rather large out of place maze. So yeah, not only is it a maze you have to navigate, but it's a maze you have to navigate while turning the correct fucking things. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. And we've done it. We're through. So what is at the center? Which is cauldron. It's full of murky water and smells really bad. I can feel something at the bottom. Are we going to get pulled in? No. Oh, we've got the trident. So that means... Oh, no. Oh, no. Is there going to be something coming in here to get me? Ooh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. I mean, I could... Ooh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Run round, run round. I think we've just escaped. Oh... We have not. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm going to take a hit. I'm going to take two hits. Fuck off. Oh my god. Get the shotgun out. If I can remember how to control it. There we go. And that is it. We're out. We were almost in trouble. But we made it out. Okay, let's go into Neptune's palace and see what we can do with the trident. Uh, oh, let's get rid of this guy first. So where do we tap the glass? Yeah. Okay, so it will look now. So we have to bring it to the birthday kid. I think I have to find a way to make all of them look at the same spot. So basically, make them all look into the middle. Once they're all looking, stand in the center, which means all of them will have a glimpse of the birthday child. And that is it. Oh, it's a silver key. So many places to check with the silver key. Oh, you piece of shit. What? What? Stop. Yes. Yeah, run away, you fucking arsehole. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's a new worker. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, buddy. All right, buddy boy. I like the purple. What is that? Died? So this is a root excavation guy, and he is there to take the infected root up. So we need to get the power up and running, but to do so, we have to do something with music, and I'm not sure exactly what. I assume it has something to do with the television and the years. Oh, it's flashing images on the screen. I'm an idiot. All right, so what's it saying we need to do? C-A-F, and what is the last one? C-A-F-E. C A. F, E. Is that alright? Ah, oh, but it'll be in the order they happened, won't it? A, C, E. Yes, there we go. Pulled it off. Pull the lever. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so all the lifts are now up and running. Don't go down there. You'll regret it. So be it. Yeah, bro, let's see how good that hard hat is against a 9mm. Ooh, I think it's a shipping container. Open it. Maybe I shouldn't. No, we should, we should. Oh, sir. So it's the woman from earlier. So she didn't die. She's just been put in a crate. How did you end up in the crate? That's a good question. Some guy grabbed me from behind and threw me in here. Some guy. Who is it? No idea. Didn't see his face. He had real sweaty hands though. Probably the creepy guy with the tie from the arcade. So she's willing to do a favor for us. Uh, I just don't know when we'd find a chance. Fuck. No way did I die like that. Not to a Fucking hanging chandelier of shit. And it's been ages, ages since I saved. How far back is that? I've nothing, I've lost it all. I had originally planned on stopping the video there, but I just had too much of an itch to find out what this story is about. So I turned off the camera, I caught up to where we were, and I done a little bit of housekeeping with a few of the things we missed. For starters, we got some new shoes. Look at that, oh, you gotta go fast. These let us run faster, and they were in the boot of Dr. Crow's car. And I have also gone to the train room and used the data key we found to open the train with a flamethrower. Look at it, a portable flamethrower. So that is everything we can do above ground done for now. All that's left to do is go below ground and see what maze, what mess is down there. Is it gonna be a huge sprawling complex or just a couple of little dungeons? I don't know. Let's go down there and find out. It is looking like we're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Ah, oh, we've got to blow up a head to get the golden key. So we've got to find some woman's head, a doll's head, and we've got to blow it up, ignoring them. I am running dangerously low on ammo and there's a break room. Root access, okay. Yes, I turned the red light green. I guess that is it. Ooh, what was that? What is that? Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Look at him. I've got fucking no ammo. Wait, let me try and... Oh shit, no, I'm running into it. Is he dead? 
Okay, well that's fine. I, I ate my own grenade, but it's the price you have to pay. Oh, it's the pink bike. It's the police officer's pink bike is down here. So maybe he's in here. Harrison, what are you doing? It's not safe down here, you know? Yeah, no, I know. I got chased by some kind of creature, I think. Did it touch you? Did it? Mm, no, I got away. Just about. Gas chimney, manual override. Oh, wait. Okay, so if we turn that off, then we'll be able to get into the section in the water area. Oh, doesn't want to move. Exactly 50. Okay, give him a one. We've got 40 and 50. That should do it, right? So now we should be able to get to the Sea World section that was sealed off upstairs. Well, all right, we've got a SpongeBob SquarePants environment. Where's the Krusty Krab? Are you ready, kids? Let's find ourselves a battery and get ourselves the fuck out of here. I can't operate with the controls in there. Ah, we need to we need to get the girl to operate the controls for us. But we need a golden key first, and I don't know where to get that. Oh, apparently it's over by the fairy tale town. We are in the theatre, but where is it? Is it in her head? It's the fairy. Hello, thank you for helping me before. I've never found that bronze key without you. Am I supposed to shoot her in the head? Ah, uh, do you know what? I have to get corrosive acid from somewhere and then fill the water tank with the corrosive acid and that will melt her head. Oh! You can just shoot it. It's a block of resin. There's something trapped. Take it. Yeah? It's starting to melt. Oh, boys, I had it wrong. I thought you had to do something with the acid. No siree. Take it. It's still stuck. Oh, we've done it. The golden key. So what do we need the acid for then? Well, there you go. Golden key. That's all the keys finally accounted for. Let's go to the office first and see what's there. She's here. The door is back. How are you feeling today? Are you going to kill the dad? She's asking the bold question. So she said that if we want to kill her dad, instead of killing him, bring him to her. So maybe there are multiple endings here. Like if we hadn't given her the antidote, we wouldn't have the option to bring the dad to her and maybe get a better ending. Now we can get the control room door open to the little ride. Get that girl in there. I'm eating some damage. That is bad. And she can send us on our merry way. Yabba yabba yabba, will you mind pressing a button for us? Yes, many thanks, thank you. Do you like my hair? It's very nice, I like your hair too. Oh, she's got a little captain's hat on, bless her. Send me away, Cap. I wonder what we have to shoot while we're going down this river. And here we are. At a dead end with a big old whale in the way. If I remember right, he's supposed to move out of the way. But I think it's done manually from a control panel. Is she going to be gone? Is our girl going to be dead? Is she? Well, she is not there, and there is blood, and the vent's open. Oh, she has been sucked into that vent good and proper. Ah, okay, I've just figured out what's going on. We're not supposed to continue going forward. We're supposed to open up these mermaids and grab the battery from the one that actually has one. Is that a battery? A battery, love that. Okay, so I ran around for a very long time trying to figure out where to put the battery, and it turns out you just had to turn him around. <laughs> Ah, uh, you just had to turn him around, and that was it. So, put the battery inside of him, you goofy crow bastard. And now he can go off. I wondered why you'd be able to turn him around, but it makes no difference. Finally, this has to be the final area. We have to be approaching a, the boss, the crescendo of this tale. Ah, so there's no one to fight above ground because they've uh, they've all come down here. So, run around, do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, give him the old dip and dodge and run through oh my god that was vile i have no healing items either we could be in trouble boys we could be in trouble oh he's dead no zero five zero six one. Oh, she stole his id and taped it on top i mean she did try and stop him from coming in she's not wrong so she tried her best oh oh no it wasn't him the whole time root excavation man blocking the way like a final boss in final fantasy oh he's coming up he's probably coming up this is nothing personal put down the gun the vents rumbling the vent rumbling. Oh, he's been pushed off. Kind of anticlimactic, but I'm glad he's dead. Oh, it's Julie. Something grabbed me, dragged me backwards into the vent. Okay, so she's kind of sending them all off to check on people and get out of the way. So she's going to be left alone to deal with whatever's waiting ahead. Look at us descending into the depths of hell. No idea what fate awaits us, but knowing, being compelled to get justice. Oh, it's the telephone. This is where the crow's been making all those phone calls. Now we can take a shower. Oh, we just washed the hair dye out and it's brown. I told you, I thought it was a wig to be fair. Mr. Crow, I'm here, I'm in your lab. Open the doors. I will, but first, please pick up the glass vials laid out on the counter. Oh, so we're getting rid of all of the key items. 
laid out and we've taken the glass vials ah oh, look at them all all the steps we took to get here he's gonna be a monster like we know that it, it's boss fight central right now in fact let me reload everything oh no the bad music is kicking in there he is mr crow where's his man bun gone is he drinking blood from a little glass that's a bit bougie elaine marshall i told you it was her right so she is infected she's been infected for two years and they can't get rid of it so she's coming back for revenge mr crow i'm going to die from this infection i've tried everything nothing works it's going to kill me but i didn't realize you have it too so he's made a cure five vials enough to cure five people someone has to go you're wrong there he did make enough vials I shall not be taking the cure, how come? So those green gold things he was cutting up were calibration antenna that allowed people to travel from that pool safely. So when he started cutting them down for money, it messed with it. So as people were teleporting through it for whatever mystical paranormal reason, they were emerging malformed, corrupt, diseased. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, he is coming out and he is going to be unhappy. Oh, there it is, the ugly son of a bitch. So is that how he attacks? Oh, no, 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 run, 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 run. Okay. I think, I think we're destroying him pretty quick, you know. Oh, do not tell me that is it. No, it's not. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Run. Come up and face your death like a man. Damn. I think that was it. Oh, that was so easy. Elaine, you... Uh, you promise. It's over. There's only one thing left to do. Dance off? Let's do it with a flamethrower. Burn, baby. And that's it. They've all got their drinks. They're hanging out. They're drinking. Four miles away from Crow Country. Maybe everything will be okay. And maybe it won't. For the team that was behind it, congratulations. You've made a fantastic game between the two of you and every supporting developer along the way. Such a good experience. A real tribute to classic survival horror. I highly recommend people play it if they want to support small indie devs trying to make passion at work. They deserve the money. Give them your money, please. And I'll see you next time. Let me know in the comments any games you want to see me play through. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.